13-year-old girl accused of making up a story about a teacher sexually assaulting her will face a judge on Monday. While false reporting is not very common, it is costly. Walter Smith Randolph talked about that one-on-one -on -one with Hamilton County's prosecutor. He's here now with what Joe Dieters had to say. Walter? Yeah, Kim and Kyle, since August, we've seen a false sexual assault report and at least two fake attempted abduction cases in Hamilton County. While the prosecutor can't talk specifics, tonight he explains the process behind working these cases and determining who gets charged. A 13-year-old Anderson High School student is facing a misdemeanor charge of making false alarms. Police say the girl falsely accused a teacher of sexually assaulting her. Hamilton County Prosecutor Joe Dieter says cases like this are rare, but costly. It is a very expensive thing um, to chase this stuff down. And, and usually when somebody makes a false report, it's not like, hey, he was speeding and he wasn't speeding. It's my kid was kidnapped. Somebody tried to abduct me. In August, a 10 year old boy made up a story about being enticed into a van in Whitewater Township. Two weeks later, a 14-year-old girl claimed she was abducted and raped in Cleves. The motivation of it is always something to take into account, you know, like sometimes you have just dumb things from kids at school. Dieter says when the accusations put someone else in jeopardy, you will be held accountable. If it's a serious thing where a lot of government resources are expended, um, you go to court in front of a judge and say, look, this is what this person did or this is what it cost. For Dieters, the most disturbing case this year has been Jesse Smollett's hate hoax. The actor alleged he was a victim of a hate crime in Chicago. Dieter says cases like that delegitimize the real victims. Every hour that law enforcement would spend on a false report is another hour that they couldn't be doing something that's really productive. And so it's, a, it's serious. Dieter says the punishment is often tied to the false crime somebody reports, but he does say the toughest penalties are for perjury. Dieter also tells me there's one court where he sees lots of false claims, and that's divorce court. Cam and Kyle. All right, Walter, thank you so much.